Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.8.6 and Razbam Simulations M2000C Mirage Module. Welcome to Tutorial 12, BAP 100 Anti-Runway Bomb. Today we're going to demonstrate the use of this unguided, high-drag, rocket-assisted anti-runway bomb. Uh, these are designed to be dropped at low altitude, uh, high speed pass, directly over a runway. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for 500 feet, that's about the right altitude. And uh, what they do is they fall away from the aircraft and then descend on a parachute for a short period of time. Uh, once they approach closer to the runway surface, they fire a rocket motor installed in the rear of the bomb. And from there, they actually uh, penetrate underneath the runway and then detonate. Once they're underneath the surface, you can see the entire uh, setup of the bomb here. The, the rear section is the parachute, the midsection is the rocket motor, and the front is the, uh, the fuse and the bomb itself. This is the maximum possible loadout that you can have for this particular weapon, uh, which is 18 BAP-100s on the centerline bomb rack. So you can see that uh, I've got 9 in the front and 9 in the back, for a total of 18. We're going to employ all of these all in one go, and uh, it should be quite the set of fireworks. Let's see if I can get some good camera angles here for this. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's jump into the cockpit and begin setup. Now, most of the setup will be very familiar if you have watched the video about the high drag bombs, uh, but uh, I'll go through the whole process in any case. Uh, so, first things first, we can take a little look on the, the PPA weapon panel here. We can flip the switch to, uh, not test, sorry, to, uh, what does that actually say? Press. Okay, <laughs> what's present? Uh, so we flip that switch down, uh, we can actually see the current loadout. You can see I've got 125 rounds in each cannon. I've got 18 what it calls BF-8s, uh, which is the, the designation for the BAP-100. And I've got uh, magic missiles on the outer pylons as well. Next thing to do is to select the weapon's profile. Uh, we want to ensure that TAS and RS are selected. TAS means the system will use the radar for air-to-ground ranging. Uh, RS means that it will also use the radar altimeter. And we want to make sure that the radar altimeter is on and operating normally. Master arm can now come on and we can then program our release. Down here on the PPA, we can have the fusing either at uh, the RET or the INST settings. It doesn't make any difference, as long as it's not in the inert position. Uh, so I'm going to put it into the middle position here. I'm then going to select the number of weapons to drop. I'm going to drop all 18, and I'm going to do so with a 50 meter spacing. Uh, and that's that all programmed up. Uh, I want to make sure the radar is on, which it is. Uh, and at this stage, we can pretty much move our attention to the HUD uh, and we're going to press weaponed command switch forward to get the symbology on the HUD. And the very first thing that it's going to tell us is it's going to say that we're too high. We've got a descend uh, cue showing up here. Once we descend a bit we'll get a bracket which shows the allowable uh, altitude at which we can deploy. But you're, you're going to generally be around about 500 feet above the ground. And then BF again just confirming to you that you have a high drag bomb out selected. Uh, we've got radar altimeter reading here, which is actually basically the same as barometric, we're above C, and uh, range to the current pipper location. So with all of that, let's begin. I'm just going to zoom down on the HUD. Let's come out of active pause, and first we're going to descend, get ourselves into parameters, and then I'll pause and show you the symbology that you get on the HUD once you're within parameters. But it's still indicating fly down, there we go, we've now got normal symbology. I'm going to go ahead and pause it there. Now the uh, the sun in our eyes is making it a little bit difficult to see, so I'm zooming right down on the HUD so we can get a good view here. Uh, so much like in normal CCIP, we have the flight path marker, we have the bomb fall line, and then we have the pipper. Now we want to ensure that the pipper has wings, which it does at present. That means that all... Um, all values are valid in effect. If you don't have wings, it means that for whatever reason the radar is not getting a good return or the radar altimeter is not on or something is wrong. You then notice my fly down arrow has disappeared. There is also a fly up arrow if you're too low, but that's fairly 
a fairly unusual situation to find yourself in. And we now have this bracket. We want to make sure that we retain the flight path marker within this bracket for the release to be valid. Uh, so that's just a little extra bit of information there. Oh, I guess uh, the other thing is the gap in the bomb fall line is where the last bomb will impact. So first impact is here, last impact is here, 18 bombs later. So let's uh, fly right down the runway here and let's have a go. And to release these weapons, we're pulling the microb trigger, basically the normal weapons release trigger, to the second stage and we're holding it there. Yeah, I'm actually just going to maneuver a little bit to try and get my alignment perfect. Actually, it looks like there's an aircraft just taking off. This could get interesting. Now, of course, this is very high risk doing this kind of delivery. Oh, I've scared him away. <laughs> uh, this is very high risk. That's a B1B. Oh, and there's another B1B. Oh, this is going to be very exciting. Um, this is very high risk kind of delivery because, of course, you have to fly right down the runway at quite low altitude. Ooh, 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 we're getting some ooh, bob and weave here. Okay, so, waiting to the start of the runway. Start the runway, pulling the trigger and holding. All bombs are away. I'm going to pause there and let's see. Well, actually, yeah, just, just all bombs are away. Take a look at that. Isn't that impressive? Um, can I... Detach my camera. Why is my camera not detached? Oh, I already detached my camera. Oh, it's because I'm in complete pause. It wouldn't allow me to move the camera while I'm in a complete pause. Okay, let's hold the camera here and we're going to see exactly what this looks like. You can see the bombs are currently on their parachutes. Oh, wow. Just look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Let me hear you say whale. <laughs> okay, right, sorry about that. Um, that's how the weapon is employed. All happened very quickly, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and press Weapon System Command Aft to put us back into normal nav mode. Uh, we now have a warning because the fly-by-wire system wants to be in the air-to-air -air limits after we've dropped all that weight. Right, let's very quickly come back around. And you'll see that the damage doesn't look that bad. Basically, we have very, very small holes in the runway, but the problem is there's a lot of them, and they're half the length of the runway, uh, and in fact, the uh, the ground underneath and the runway surface has been completely disrupted. In real life, this would be very, very time-consuming and expensive to repair. Um, so these are extremely effective. And you can see that if we did two passes, or alternatively, if I increased my spacing, we could have actually denied the enemy the use of this entire runway. Um, so let's just get down down and low here and have a little look at what we've done. There you go. You can see all the holes right down the center line there. That's us rendered basically half of that runway completely unusable. So, fantastic. Uh, so that's basically it. That is the entire process for employing the weapon. You're going to select the weapon profile. I'll deselect it now. Make sure Master Arm is on. Make sure Taz and RS are selected. You're going to press Weapon uh, System Command forward to get your symbology. Make sure that you're within parameters, which is flying quite low. Uh, you'll have uh, fly down or fly up commands on the flight path marker. Align your bomb fall line. Get the pipper at the start of where you want to drop. Press and hold the trigger down to the second detent and wait until all bombs are away. So that's the entire process. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. If you'd like to further support the channel, you have the option of joining Deep Hack's ground crew. I really appreciate those of you who do. Thank you very much to Harish Rajan, Byron Farrow, Storm Kimbari, Channel Wright, Mangash, JR Walker, Chandler Hedgewald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Frantic Stone, Bread, Tier Zero, Erdinker Tan, Tiger Moto, Sean IM81, charts, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.